bed over there. I haven't been that far. Quick video on uh, this one. I already did this video on, but I'm gonna do it again because we had stuff in it <clears throat> and kind of show you exactly uh, what you're getting. And then I'm also gonna do a product video on the other stuff that's uh, that's not included in the sale, but will be listed as well. So if you're watching this video and you're waiting for the let's say fenders or gas tank or something, just wait a little bit and it'll be uh, along in this video. So anyway, 51 Willie's pickup truck bed. I don't know the interchange, meaning the years that they go for. Um, but it's actually a fairly good condition. It does have some spots on it, but for being as old as it is, and it's, it's fairly straight, if, if not almost perfectly straight. Uh, it does have a little bit of uh, rust um, in it, and I'll show you all the areas so you know exactly what you're getting um, and uh, whatnot. So just kind of going down the bottom here, you can see the mounts and the posts, and that kind of rail there is all in good shape. The back, the bed is, um, or the back for the backs up against your cab is pretty good this got a couple dings or something where maybe something was in the bed itself and then the rail going down the side here um, is in pretty good shape it's nice and straight there's a ding here um, a little bit of a uh, tear or in the metal there um, th most of the stuff I think somebody could pretty much easily fix um, but you know nonetheless I think it's important to see it so and then going down the side um, they had something I don't know there's a light or something came out there um, what you see is exactly what you get. This is uh, the only bed we have for one of these things. And they're pretty rare and three acres of Jeep, nothing but Jeep parts out here. Um, this is all I got for this era uh, besides the flat fender CJ we got over there. So that area right there, um, that's pretty much only cancer in the bed. And it's uh, almost not even really rust. I mean, it is rust, obviously. But, uh, but it's almost just like where the metal's kind of worn down through. Um, so it's the extent of it is about about there is where it starts getting solid again where it's most bed so that'd be ground down and then the, up into this area about there um and then got a little bit here so it's about a uh about a sheet of paper 10 by 10 by 11 um which uh whether you patch it or whatever you do and then there is a depression there and uh over there and it kind of actually has a little bit of a, a wave uh, going back um, through it. Um, and then down the side again, once again, uh, the back side. So I guess that whole other side does almost, maybe was factory, but this is more of what it should have looked like. Um, but again, I, I don't know these things real well, so uh, you may know them better. But nonetheless, that's the bed. And then we got the fuel tank over here. Um, and this is all in good shape. There's no rust or holes in it at all. Um, it's a little discolored from being weathered, but it's uh, it's all there. I don't know if the what the fuel if they had a fuel pump there or how those work, but that's uh, that's there. The hood is mangled. Uh, <clears throat> you want to pound that sucker back out? Uh, <laughs> you can use it for artwork maybe, but uh, and then you got the fenders here. This is the driver's side fender, um, and it's rust not really rusty at all pretty rust free but definitely has kind of a tear here in the metal or definitely has a tear there not kind of um, and in the front of it I don't know how much these things are supposed to go in there uh, as far as the depression goes there but it looks fairly straight the inner fender is uh, is all there and that looks pretty good uh, a little bit of a down the side there and then going back to this area um, I don't know what this thing is, but uh, I'll figure that out and we'll get it up if it is a part. Let's go to something else. And there's a couple little sheets of metal here. Um, and again, I'll if these go to the bed or something, I'll put those in there. But they are they do have part numbers listed, so I assume they'll go to something. And then here's the the passenger side uh, finger here. And again, it's kind of got that same tear in it there. Um, otherwise, pretty straight. Uh, same kind of depression on the front. This one's a little cleaner. Inner fender's good shape. Uh, coming on back, there's a little bit of a rust spot down there in that area there. there. But, uh, you know, I don't know these old pickups too well, but in my opinion, it, for being as old as it is, I've seen a lot less of your stuff. This was always our Colorado Jeep. We don't use... Uh, <clears throat> We only use sand on the roads out here, so that's why things last a little longer. Um, then we got the axles here. We got a front axle, um, and this will come just as it is, uh, probably minus this tire because it's going to be hard to ship it. 
and it's pretty much toast anyway. Uh, there's a couple things on it for steering linkage. I'll leave that stuff there. The frame obviously is separate. Uh, that's available too. I have a video up of that. Um, then you got the rear axle here. And I'm not sure in the gears on these things. Um, and this is not one I can really open up to verify the gears. But I don't know if they came with many options in these years. But uh, good news is it spins, which is actually spins pretty freely, pretty pretty nice. So you got the yoke spinning there, and then let's go over here and see this side spin. Yeah, that one spins too. Got that going on there. So all that looks good, and we got the cab, of course, which again I've already listed. But if you've seen this ad and you want to see it, um, I'm not going to cut anything on this cab. I had somebody ask me if I'd cut the, the roof off the other day, and no, I won't do that. This cab is. Again, exceptionally clean for the for the year and fairly straight. The glass in the front is perfect. The glass in the back is cracked. Firewall's in good shape. Again, the frame up here, all in good shape. So anyway, I think that just about does it. Uh, leaf springs, um, we'll list these things as well. I'll probably just list these as a set. Um, but uh, there's something else that I didn't see that I didn't get listed and you're curious about it, uh, feel free to give me a holler or uh, email or something, 720-987-8772. Uh, and just to give you a quick, I, these are some of the older pickups we have. This is the oldest. Um, there's some J10s, uh, Comanche. We've got a couple Comanches, obviously the Wagoneers. Depending on what you're into, those parts uh, might uh, be something of interest to you. And then uh, there's a lot of Cherokees out through here, and we have a lot of those parts, obviously, as well. But usually people, the old ones, like the old stuff. So um, here's the rest of our J10s. And uh, we do have a few engines, axles, stuff like that remaining around that are inside. Um, but then I want to show you one more. We have some old CJs over here. If it is something you're looking, you know, something older. And of course, uh, in that era is going to be this flat fender over here. So, and uh, it doesn't have an engine anymore. Uh, but it's pretty much complete. The body, windshield frame, it, it needs some work, obviously. And I have this one up in another listing. Um, probably won't part this one, but you know, we might just depends. I mean, the tubs are worth some money on them. So, and we are in the parts business. Um, we got some good tailgates, Willie's tailgates sitting around too. So, uh, 303-666-9020. And we're about to get a big old blizzard snowstorm tonight. So trying to get everything out of the, out of the weather. Uh, anyway, I appreciate you taking the time and we'll, uh, we'll be in contact. Thanks.